The experience very traumatic, not without injuries. Wesef, the scars are not just what you can see. They come with internal wounds that take years to heal. Statistics show that six in every ten women are experiencing physical violence either in a relationship or in marriage. Reasons adduced for domestic violence ranges from poverty, depression, insecurity, pride, and mostly refusal to have sexual intercourse. While many ponder on the depth of man's inhumanity to another, many wonder when an end will come to violence at the home front. Like the case of many Nigerian women, Moses Izuako Gloria, a 34-year-old mother of three, says she has always endured abuse from her husband of 10 years, who daily threatens and finds a reason to beat her up at the slightest provocation. Until the last torture almost took her life, Gloria says the most painful experience is that her husband expresses no remorse for what he has done. For a man that did this thing to me and be saying that he doesn't, that nothing will happen, will happen and has not shown any remorse, such a man does not work. And then, come to take your faith, this is a man I've not slept with him for the past two years. And we are living in the same house. So he's happy whenever he sees men, underage men, you know, underage boys. I don't even call them men. Even one of the boys that made him to inflict this injury on me, one of the boys that, the boy is not protecting. So a man that does not feel, in fact, he killed my emotions. So I'm just like, I'm in that house for the sake of my children. And now he has done this that almost took my life and he showed me remorse. I have no point going back to him. For this older victim who had been married for nine years, the nightmare in her marriage started when she had her first child. Blessing E.K. says her husband's beat her each time she insists on collecting upkeep money for their children. Though reunited with her husband, fear remains a battle she still contends with. <laughs> President Women Arise, Joe Kiyodumaki, who came to the rescue of glory and blessing, says domestic violence must not be tolerated in any form whatsoever, while calling on the judiciary to aid the fight by speeding up its judicial proceedings. Out of over 2,000 cases, less than 10, that's that the judicial process took its course. And about those 10 cases, three years in court, four years in court. So in terms of percentage, it's not really too encouraging. And uh, that is, uh, I think, in terms of impunity, you see, we want deterrence. We want a situation whereby husbands will know that it's homes, not bossing rings. It's not where to sentence you know, their wives to death. So when some of these cases are taken to court, um, some of them are discouraged, the snail pace at which it's going, some might not have, be patient enough. Despite the fact that it has to go through a painstaking process. Once judiciary to please always help in speeding up some of this trial because justice debate is justice denied. While many still suffer in silence due to one reason or the other, freedom fighters say the Nigerian society must learn to stand up to cultural beliefs that are derogatory and protect the innocent among them. <laughs> Omotayo Alo, Core TV News, Lagos.